Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. I did take a few days off just so all of you could catch up on my past on my past few videos and be informed that I will be uploading every single day. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Today I wanted to kind of do a slight slight rant on Betta Cups. I've mentioned before in videos on my main channel like, oh, Betta Cups are bad, like being sold in cups is bad, but I've never really gone into detail as to all the reasons why Betta Cups are bad for Bettas. So without further ado, let me go ahead and uh, let's talk about why these little plastic cups right here that so many stores across the United States sell Bettas in. Now pretty much every single big chain store and some local ones as well sell their Bettas in these cups in the United States. That's the country that I live in. That's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Maybe in the future though, I will talk about other countries like Betta Care because I feel like it's better in a lot of countries. But back to this, at least the major chain pet stores sell all of their bettas in these little cups. They either get them from the supplier in cups like these, even smaller sometimes, or from little bags, which bags are a normal way to transport fish in a bag with like air. And we've all seen those bags. However, the big chain pet stores take a bunch of these, probably like 30 to 50 of them, depending on how big the display is or how many they get in and they just put them either at the end cap of an aisle or just along the aisle. I mean, I've seen them pretty much everywhere throughout pet stores. Well, they'll just have about 30 to 50 betta fish in these little cups all around the store or at the end cap. And from a business standpoint, yes, it makes sense to sell bettas in cups like these because number one, you can carry a large stock of them. Two, bettas come in so many different colors and sizes and shapes and everything like that, that when you have a betta in this cup and you're walking by and you grab it, you can actually just pick up the fish and you can like really get a good look at it as opposed to like, a 10 gallon fish tank where there's like 50 of the same fish and they're all just swimming around and you're like oh i think i want that yellow guppy and like it's almost impossible to get the exact one that you want so because betta cups like this are so interactive it definitely increases sales for them and because they can have such a wide price range of anything from like a dollar 99 all the way up to like 30 dollars, it pretty much fits in everyone's budget the problem with these cups is that when they are selling them at a really low price or just in general in these cups it gives people the impression that they can just keep bettas in something very tiny if you walk into an exotic fish store and you see an arowana in a giant tank, you're gonna think, oh, I can't get that fish because it doesn't fit in my five gallon tank at home or whatever the case may be. But with a betta fish, people see this, they see bowls on display, they see one gallon tanks, half gallon tanks, quarter gallon tanks on sale, on display, right under the betta fish. And they're like, perfect. It's all right here. I don't have to go anywhere. It's like $20 for the whole setup. I have a new pet. It's great. But the actual physical problem with these little cups right here is that number one, they're a tiny amount of water. So every time you feed the betta, all of that ammonia from its waste and from the excess food is going to build up like crazy. The other problem is that if you see these little holes right here, let me take the lid off. This right here, if someone fills up the water all the way, then there is no room for a CO2 and oxygen exchange in the cup. It's already bad in these cups as it is because they are circular and just naturally in circular containers, the exchange is less. However, if someone fills it up too much, then it's even less room for that exchange to happen and there's only one tiny little hole. So without any water flow, any more holes, anything like that, the CO2, the ammonia, the nitrates, nitrates, all that stuff, everything that you see on a water test is going to build up in this little bowl. Now, I am not, when I say this, pointing fingers at any one company or any type of employee or anything like that. It's just the sole factor of, hey, it's a big chain pet store. They're gonna send you 50 bettas today. Good luck trying to keep them all alive, do all the water changes, feed them, everything. Because things build up in these little cups so quickly, the bettas become sick very, very fast. Pretty much any betta you buy from one of these cups is going to have something wrong with it, and you may not even notice it. However, a lot of them will have fin rot, swim bladder, ammonia burns on their gills, on their fins, Pretty much any pretty much any disease you're going to get in these cups that can come from bacteria or poor water condition. Not only is the company promoting a betta in a little cup that you can pick up and like hold it and stuff, and you're like, oh, this is great, it's a cheap price, but then you're gonna take it home and if you don't know what you're doing because they don't want to give you much information, some employees do, but in general, the store isn't providing you information. You go home, you put it in your tank and it may be dechlorinated, it may be too small, it may have something that damages the fish and then it contracts a bacterial infection and then your poor little fish dies. And what happens when it dies, you go back to the store because you already have the tank set up, you want just another fish. 
So you go back in, you get another $2 fish, another $2 fish, another $2 fish. And then they just sell them these little cups and they just make a ton of money. But the problem is with these cups is that overall, it's just really bad for the betta's health. And I'm not gonna say that I expect every chain's pet store to have like a five gallon tank for a betta because that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that this is a problem and we need to come up with a solution for it. And maybe that solution is that every betta has like a three gallon tank that they're sold in because it is possible. A lot of companies, a lot of companies, a lot of local pet stores, stuff like that do that in other countries. In other countries, they don't see these little cups here. I get a lot of comments on my videos saying like, oh, I live in the UK, I live here, I live there, and I've never seen one of these. So this is a problem in America that we need to fix. It may bring in a lot of money for the companies, but if we want to sit there and look at the health of the betta, and maybe for like local pet stores, that's maybe the first place to start because although they don't have a billion dollar budget to set up a bunch of tanks, maybe they can just have like pictures of different bettas that they can order from the supplier, have like five bettas in like three gallon tanks in their store, and they can say, oh, I can order this one for you. It'll be here in two days. And obviously they may not make as many sales because it's not immediate and people like to make immediate impulsive purchases. However, I don't know. It's just an idea. I'm just throwing it out there. But I think local pet stores are where we need to start and start that precedent that bettas need to be sold in something a lot bigger than this. So yeah, that's just my mini rant on betta cups today. I'll probably think of some more stuff about them. There's a lot wrong with these cups and the whole system of it. But I just wanted to start the discussion. So if you guys have more to add to this discussion on betta cups comment down below and let me know what you think about betta cups about big chain pet stores just like pushing these out like they're not live animals yeah i want to know what your opinions are but i hope you enjoyed today's video make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's drop a comment continuing the conversation about these hit that like button hit that subscribe button check out my main channel instagram and tiktok if you want and other than that i will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video Bye.